Hello, this is Artifacts Mars, and I want to talk about politicians essentially siding with the bad guys. I know I'm going to hear, get a rash in a sh you know what over this. Uh, first, we're going to deal with Governor Cuomo. Governor Cuomo said rejecting Syrian refugees would be akin to conceding defeat of the American dream. Unbelievable that he said that. Said New York Governor Andrew Cuomo in a sharply worded response to those urging him to keep refugees out of the state. Speaking at Harvard University's Kennedy School of Government, Democratic government said, Governor said efforts to reduce the threat of terrorism must be balanced with America's standing as a beacon for liberty and tolerance. Unbelievable. That is bullshit. He said the federal government has evolved to screen the refugees for links to terrorism. No, they're just flooding in here. That's incredible BS. That is incredible bullshit. I can see my uh, pet bull is going to have to come out again. We have to protect Americans and not lose our soul as America in, in the process, right? Today America says close the gates, build the wall, and I say take down the Statue of Liberty because you're gone, you've gone to a different place. I won't let them win by conceding defeat in the American dream. That is bullshit. Well, if I knew, if I didn't know we were uh, bringing in terrorists, I would agree with them. But if you bring in the Syrian refugees, you have to expect at least 10% terrorists. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, who's a leftist pinko commie, saw a similar note on Wednesday saying New York is a proud immigrant city that would welcome refugees fleeing conflict in their home, homeland. Most of these aren't refugees. They're terrorists and slimeballs. They're terrorist slimeballs. That's what they are. Most of them. Some of them legitimately are refugees. I mean... There's some kids and stuff. Most of these are military-aged men. That's already been shown in uh, Europe. Christie wrote to Barack Obama on Tuesday saying he doesn't believe background checks on refugees will be sufficient. Uh, thank you, Governor Christie. He called New York, New Jersey government Christie an embarrassment to this country, that's Komu, what Cuomo said after the Republican presidential candidate ordered state agencies not to help resettle Syrian refugees. That is bullshit. Well, good for you, Governor. Uh, you're not on my voting list, and you're not going to be a candidate, but I agree with you on that. Governor Christie, thank you, sir. I cannot allow New Jersey to participate in any program that will result in Syrian refugees, any one of whom could be connected to terrorism being placed in our state, he wrote. That's Governor Christie again. Thank you, Governor Christie. I got a whole lot of sequence there. Uh, Several governors said they will allow Syrian refugees into their states following coordinated attacks in Paris. In New York, Republican U.S. Representative Chris Collins, who's my representative, and Republican state lawmakers cited the threat of terrorism when they called on Cuomo to reject additional refugees from war-torn Middle East nation. Uh, thank you, Representative. 
the placement of Syrian refugees must be suspended until there is an effective vetting process in place that prevents terrorists from seizing an opportunity to sneak into the United States, says Senate Leader John Flanagan, Republican Long Island. Uh, This is a state senate, obviously. Uh, S- Senator, we simply can't track these people. <laughs> There's no records. I mean, the country's in the middle of a flaming civil war. Most of them don't have any records on them. New York continues to be a top terror target, even after the devastating loss of life from the September 11th attacks. We owe it to every New Yorker do whatever is necessary to protect them. Kumo and several immigration experts say, say that under federal law, governors have no authority to keep refugees out. Oh, baloney. That is bullshit. Okay. So, you want one more politician? This one's local. This story comes from, comes to you from the uh, Rochester, New York chapter of the uh, New York Communist Party uh, propaganda machine, Democrat and Chronicle. At any rate, as about two governors... Two dozen governors moved this week to prevent people who fled Syria from their coming to their states. Mayor Lovely Warren and local resettlement agency said Monday that Rochester will continue to welcome immigrants and refugees. Which means, madam, you want to bring in terrorists. You are, a th- I consider you to be a threat and I would not allow you on my property. I'm not taking that back. She would be turned around and sent packing uh, back to uh, Rochester. No major influx of Syrian refugees is expected in Rochester, but a tiny fraction of people who fled devastating four-year civil war there probably will make their way to this area through a long-time resettlement program. If the U.S. holds its pledge to accept 10,000 refugees by next fall. Syrian refugees. That is incredible bullshit. These politicians are a threat to us. This is why I say, get out and buy guns. I gotta upgrade my firepower some myself. I'm not one to talk. Uh... Well, the fighting did break out around here. I have at least something to fight with. These are uh, communists. Uh, I can't believe this nutcase is even allowed uh, to stay in office. Why don't the people of Rochester just remove her? Because they don't know any better. They think she's the greatest thing since uh, chopped liver, apparently. Uh, whatever. So here you have it. These politicians are endangering your uh, lives. Now it's true, of course, not every Syrian refugee that's brought in is going to be a bad person. Well, it's also true that many of them will be. Many of them will be terrorists. There's no way to say or buts about it. We would have to very carefully hand-pick every single one. You'd start by letting in Christians. I mean, uh, see, the Christians are coming from Syria. I'd be willing to take a chance on most of those. They might come to my door uh, wanting to save my soul and get me to follow on essentially in 
a god from outer space, but that's another discussion anyway. Unbelievable. You getting this yet, folks? These sons of bitches don't care about your safety. They don't care about your families. It's your families, your kids, your relatives that are going to be killed at some point in the future when these so-called refugees strike. And of course, the nature of terrorism is such that you don't know when they're going to hit. They don't play by any normal rules of warfare or anything like that. But here you go. You're in very grave danger, people. Get out and buy firearms. When you have shit like this, when you have scum like uh, Lovely Warren sitting in an office and she's willing to endanger this entire region, she should be taken up taken out and impeached, removed from office, and get somebody in there some common sense. It's not going to happen. And people in Rochester, there aren't enough of them who have the brains to remove this person, impeach her or whatever, and remove her from office. I consider her to be a threat because she's letting in people who want to kill me. I'm not even a Christian. I'm a, technically an agnostic, folks. Like I said, I think the God of the Bible is probably a very highly advanced alien, but I don't want to get into that. Well, there you go. Now, let's, one more thing. Let's listen to Jim Morris, Resettlement Director at Catholic Family Center in Rochester, He's saying the same stuff. Refugees deserve our support and our help, and we shouldn't allow terrorists and criminals to dictate changes to our great tradition of welcoming a stranger. Unbelievable. I can't believe he said that. We gotta get our borders shut. When we get to the point where we can bring in a refugee where they've been checked out, and everything's fine with them, we know who they are, what they believe, then we could let them in. One by one. Then I wouldn't have any problem. Well, they're just going to flood in here. This is one reason I'm an agnostic, by the way. Uh, these uh, Christians aren't learning. Their own kind, their own religion is being slaughtered in the Middle East. Catholic, and this Catholic family center resettles, bring, is apparently uh, involved with resettling these refugees. To date, the center has resettled only one Syrian family under federal plan, a small number of refugees. Syrian refugees will likely come to Rochester, probably no more than 60, 50 people next year, Morris said. Statistically, at least five of those will be terrorists. Just lovely. Buy guns. You Rochesterians, arm yourselves. You're going to need guns. Except your government wants to stop you from defending yourself. You know, I did the story, uh, let me put this on hold, I'm going to uh, show you a story about the French president. As long as we're on the subject of politicians, I ain't intended to do him, but he may as well. And let's not forget, uh, Obama, I'll get to him uh, in a moment. This is running a lot longer than I had anticipated, but some things have got to be said here. Um, here's a French president 
said that Fran France will remain a country of freedom defending its decision to honor a commitment to accept migrants and refugees despite French's, French's deadly terrorist attack in Paris. He goes on to say, well, we're here for freedom and democracy and all this crap. They're not in there for that. They're there to institute a tyranny. They're there to institute an Islamic dictatorship. This is a moron, alright? And speaking of morons, Obama was basically mocking the Republicans. Calling it political posturing because the Republicans want to keep the Syrian refugees out. We're not well served when, in response to a terrorist attack, the descendant of fear and panic. Well, then one of the bombers going to uh, leave the uh, runways. Obama told reporters in Manila, Philippines, after meeting at the Asian Pacific Econ Economic Cooperation Summit with President Benigno Quino. We don't know. We don't make good decisions if it's based on hysteria or an exagger exaggeration of the risk. Apparently they are scared of widows and orphans coming to the United States of America, the president said. At first they were too scared of the press being too tough on them in the debates. Now they are scared of three-year-old orphans. That just seems so tough to me. Unbelievable. Uh, folks, this guy is a radicalized Muslim, make no mistake about it. He's well known in the Middle East. Well, I gotta close this out, but uh, I think point's been made here. Point's been made, uh, these people are on the side of the terrorists, and it's only going to get worse. You need to wake up. They've got, we've got to stop this, and we've got to stop it now. We've got to get the tanks on the borders, we got to seal the borders, screw the refugees. You can let in the Christians on a case-by-case -case basis. They're the ones I would let in. At least uh, they might come to my door and try to convert me to Jesus Christ. Not that I uh, worship aliens, but uh, at least they're not going to come to my door with an AK-47 and put it to my head and say, eh, convert or die. And there you have it, folks. You know, I've had enough of this. Has been briefed on that raid in Paris overnight. He's traveling in the Philippines right now. And it just crashed or something. Earlier, the president addressed the I'm out of facts, Mars. Syrian refugees here in the Wake United up, States. people. Get out there. Buy guns. You're going to need them. Insisted Your government is not on your side. I've shown you four different politicians. French president. And this morning, French president Obama, whom I refused to call the president, France to accept 30,000 refugees in the next two years, saying, quote, France shall remain a country. Well, this just won't stop. And, and, uh, Governor Cuomo and, um, lovely Warren of Rochester, and they're all on the side of the terrorists. They all want terrorists here. If not, we would have those borders shut. We only let so-called refugees in on a case-by-case -case basis 
where they're fully identified and we know who they are. I'm Artifacts Mars. I'm furious. Can't let this stuff stand, folks. I don't like, you know, keeping people out like that, but what choice do we have? We have no other choice. No matter of fact, some words. Thanks for watching.